morning, family. Hey, good morning, good morning Dad. Hey, what are you reading, Junior? It's a book of baby names. I'm trying to figure out what to call my kids. Well, that's a very important decision to make. You know, kids tend to live up to their names. They do? Yeah. If you don't want to put a fat, a little, or murder in their name. <laughs> gotcha. I got an idea. Why don't you name the kid after me? Why would I name my kid Dad? Huh? <laughs> you know, son, if it's a girl, you can always name her Jay. Or Claire. Or Katie. Why don't you put them all three together and name her Clajady? Ooh, that sounds nasty, Clajady. I wouldn't want to live up to that. Gentlemen, take out your happy dollars and come into the <laughs> stage is Clajady. <laughs> well, if you guys will excuse me, I've got some thinking to do. I've got to come up with a name. I'll help you. Hey, is that all you have for breakfast? Yeah. I'm gonna go down to the club and work on my short game. <laughs> Cause you know I don't need no work on the long game. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot. You know what? We have a meeting with the insurance guy about our estate planning on Friday. I'm not going. Michael, estate planning is a necessary thing. I ever tell you the story of my Uncle Willie? The sweetest man you ever want to meet. Okay, my Aunt Lucinda was pressuring him for years to fill out a will. He's like, uh-uh. Oh, no, 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 thank you right here. My name's Willie, not Will. <laughs> Finally, he gave in to the pressure. He goes downtown, he fills out the paper, walking out the office, a window washer on the 50th floor, sneezes. His filling pops out of his mouth, flies down 50 stories, penetrates Uncle Willie's skull, lodges itself between the cerebellum and medulla oblongata, kill him instantly. You know Uncle Willie's last words? Good then, Hank. Oh, my God, Michael, did that really happen? No, but it, it could. Why are you playing? I don't give you grief about golf, and that's very dangerous. How is golf a dangerous game? Did I ever tell you about my cousin Bertram? You got a cousin Bertram? No, I got a cousin Bertram. One day, he hit a four iron 175 yards and landed on the green, went straight into the hole. In celebration, he raised up his golf club. At that moment, a bolt of lightning struck the golf club, went down his arm, over his shoulder, across his chest, went down his body, around his waist, went into his back pocket, hit his lucky quarter, and blew his ass off. Wow. Yeah? All in one. What a lucky guy. Michael! Okay, I'll do it. All right, Friday at 3. All right. All right. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Me. You know you're on punishment. You're not even supposed to be out your room. Dad approved this. He said I could do community service. So, I signed up to be a big sister. But you're already a big sister. No, I'm talking about the organization where older girls mentor younger girls. Come on, sweetie. I'd like you guys to meet someone. <laughs> Who is that? This. <laughs> this is Kennedy, my protege. Hi, sweetie. Hello. Isn't she adorable? Uh -huh. <laughs> I am really proud of you, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. Come on, Kennedy, I'll show you my room. Okay, big sis. Come on, Kennedy, wanna come? No, little sis. <laughs> See a guy with a big bush of hair like this, you're gonna hate him. Right? I mean, that's not, you know, that's gonna happen. You don't hate me, do you, Mom? <laughs> What's the matter with you, Jimmy? Oh, I know nothing about me. I never felt better. What you looking at, man? <laughs> Look, Jimmy, let, let's get back to the hair. Mm -hmm. What's the secret? It's called hair. It is. <laughs> you mean? 
mean to tell me that you took a pill and your head grew back like that? Well, I actually bumped mine up to 10 a day because I got a high school reunion coming up. But look at me, man. I'm growing hair like a chia pet. I'm on my way to the barbershop now. <laughs> ah, I got to try this. Okay. Take those, man. I got three boxes at home. Right, I'm going to try to sneak out for this. Yeah. There's hair. I'm gonna see, see. I see three strands in the southeast quadrant. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Dad, Dad, I wouldn't go out and buy a hairnet just yet, but it's kind of amazing. What do you mean by that? By what? Buying a hairnet. Well, is you still... <laughs> I know I'll just get with you, man. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what everybody means. In fact, you mean a lot more than you think you mean, my man, Jelly Bean. <laughs> I'm lost, that. It doesn't matter. You know why? I got hair. <laughs> See this here in the sub-Saharan section? Oh, that's a baby. I So, of the two plans that outlined, A is the most expensive, but it's also by far the best. So, what you say is if I love my family, I go with plan A. 
On the other hand, if I don't like my family, I go with plan B. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Well, here's another way of putting it. <laughs> what about I just save a few bucks and go with plan C? That's where I fake my own death and run off the reel with some hooker and liquor. <laughs> Go with plan B. Michael. Plan C. Michael. Plan A. <laughs> okay, plan A. I pay, I die. Your money multiply. <laughs> my, 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 I feel like I'm going to cry. You happy, Jay? happy, 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 happy. I got a question. Something just hit me. <laughs> How much does she make if I die? In the event of... Your early demise, Jay would receive three million dollars. Three million dollars? <laughs> what do I get if she kicks the bucket? Twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> that doesn't seem fair now, does it? You listen to me, Fuzzy Lumpkin. I'm up and get to signing papers there's just one more decision you two have to make should michael end up in a vegetative state would you want to keep the machines on or pull the plug of course pull the plug. <laughs> why not i don't know i hate to have to cut his head off myself <laughs> it's gonna be hard to do that's why But make it pop right off, right? Yeah, well, I wish I had a sack to put over his head so he wouldn't look at me. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girl, let me get to this. All right. Because uh, Michael really does love him some catfish. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good crazy or bad crazy? <laughs> right there, leave yourself open. Ooh. Uh, you look crazy, crazy. That must be what they call people with long, luxurious hair. <laughs> I think it looks frightening. You look like a bad science experiment. Oh, you're just jealous because you don't have the patches look. <laughs> but then I like it. But thank you, son. See, they just whoop! I snap it. <laughs> Martin, the food smells good. Yeah, what is it? Mmm, something special I made just for your fun. Aww, Jay, always looking out for her husband. <laughs> or should I say, has been. <laughs> hey, Katie, why don't you take a bite of this? To... No, Michael! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! No, you admit it. You put a little something extra in Yes! Side. Peanut oil! She's allergic to this! Yo, peanut oil trick, huh? <laughs> You. Nothing's wrong with me, Jay. Nothing at all. And I plan on keeping it that way. You know what, you weird? The hair's not growing out of your head, it's growing into it. Don't come near me with that. I didn't know that. Get it. Get your butt over here and sit down and eat this food. No, no, no. I got my dinner, Jay. <laughs> The father's been acting very strange lately. Yeah, I thought something was wrong this morning when they told me I should name the baby Erder. <laughs> the more he grows that stupid hair, the messier he gets. You know what, Claire? You're right. Come in. Oh, hi, Claire. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just figured I'd come spend some time with my little sister. Finally. Do you want to play a game? Sure. Let's play phone call. Ring, ring, ring. Now pick up yours. Hello, Big Sister Organization. What's that? You have information about your daughter, Claire? She's been in rehab. 
She's Uncle Rome for beating up her little sister? Oh, wow, you must be able to see into the future, because I didn't start beating her up until now. I'm sorry. I just don't want you to be anybody else's big sister. Look, Katie. You know how Mom and Dad have enough love to share with three children? Yeah. Well, I have enough love to share with you and a less fortunate little girl. So don't look at it like you're losing me. Look at it as a chance to make a new friend. Maybe you're right. Fortunately for you, yes, I am. Why aren't you at work? Because they're after me down there. All of them. They're after my hair. And you got them in on the scheme. Me? That's what, yeah. You're going to give them a little bit of insurance money after you buck me off. You know what? Look, you got to get for the fact that we've spent practically our entire lives together, Michael, and all I've ever done is love you. Guys, what do you think? Should we trust her? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't like the way she's getting at the teens. Well, if I were you, I would listen to her because, you know, she does have a cute smile when she looks at me. Okay, Jim, wait a second. Look, you're right. I have been feeling strange ever since I started taking those pills. Now, honestly... Having hair doesn't matter to me at all. I'm very glad to hear that. Whoop! Kiss with your lips, not your hands. <laughs> hey, is that Al Roca over there on the Poco stick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? Sure. Uh, another round, please. <laughs> See, you got you too, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, my wife had to hog tie me and drag me to the doctor to get off that stuff. Dude, they had to shoot me with the tranquilizer dart and drag me out of my reunion. <laughs> <laughs> That's some bad stuff, Jimmy. Oh, I know. Hey, you missed the hair? Oh, not these days, because you know it's heating up in the bedroom, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buck wild. Man again. Wow. Any side effects? Oh, none at all. <laughs> it's all new growth. 